In this lesson, I'm going to talk about the new topic of using user parameters, using custom parameters inside of Niagara emitters. I'm using one of the old setups that we have created using leaf textures. As you can see here, this is where we left off from the previous lessons. I do have some random initial rotations on these leaves, which is coming from the initialized particle and my sprite rotation mode is set to random. One thing that we are missing here is these sprites are only having some random initial rotation on them, but they don't start rotating around over their life. We want to solve that. We want to be able to have these to rotate as well. So there is a module called sprite rotation rate, which I already have here. I'm going to create a new one from scratch. So rotate sprite or sprite rotation rate. I'm going to delete that one. This module allows me to give these particles a rotation rate. So they constantly rotate or spin around their own pivot points. So if I change it to something higher than that, let's say 50, you're going to notice that these sprites start rotating around. And this speed, I believe, is just 50 degrees per second, maybe. So you can read it that way. And you can see that they are rotating or spinning around with the same speed. So the problem here is that they're all rotating in the same direction, they're all rotating clockwise, and they're all having the same speed of 50 degrees per second. I can change this value to a negative value, so it's going to be counterclockwise spinning, but it's still, again, same issue, same speed, same direction. Here's the point that I'm going to introduce a new way of controlling these rotations and give them some randomness. I'm going to create a case here for you. So first, I'm going to show you how easily we can make this rotation to be random per each one of these sprites. So here I can change my rotation rate to a range and I'm going to choose a range of negative values to positive values. So now I'm having a random number in two directions for each one of these particles. However, I'm not going to use this in this way because I want to prove a point here I want to talk about a new way of doing the same thing or in future doing some other stuff and in fact it connects very well to our next lesson which is going to be making more dynamic parameters outside our emitters for now let's assume that we are not able to create a range for our sprite rotation rate and we want to take care of it manually so I'm going to reset it back to a constant value of 1 or 50 the way that we can do it using custom attributes, custom parameters, is that we can define a new attribute. When I'm referring to attributes, I'm talking about these values here. These are called attributes or parameters. So in order to create our own custom attributes, there is a module that we can create in any of these subcategories. In this case, we want to assign a random number to each one of these sprites, and then we are going to use them in other modules. Okay, so this is what we are trying to do. In order to do that, I'm going to use parameter and this is the one that I'm talking about set new or existing parameter directly this module allows me to define my own custom parameters so I need to click on this plus sign I'm going to pause this for a moment and here I can create my own parameters so I know I want to assign just one float random number to each one of these particles so I'm going to choose a float parameter I need to give it a name so I can easily find it later on. So I'm going to select it, right click on it and rename it. So I'm going to use my rotation factor. What I've done here is I have created a parameter. This parameter is going to be assigned to each one of these particles. Currently their value is going to be zero, but I can change this value to anything that I want. I'm going to change this to a range, a random number and it can be anything. So let's say I want to have a range of negative one to one. There is no definition for this range. I'm just creating a random number and I'm assigning that to each one of these particles. This is the first step that I'm doing. So now these particles are born and on each one of them we have speed, we have a scale, we have color, and also we have this custom attribute called my rotation factor. And this custom parameter is having a random value inside it. So in this case, I want to use that in the sprite rotation rate. So in this sprite rotation rate, I want to read that custom parameter. So here, rather than having a constant rate of one, I can convert it to my own parameter. I can say I want to read my own parameter. So I'm going to type in my, because I've named that my rotation factor, and it will show up here. I need to make sure that I'm using the one that is assigned to the particle. So if you see anything else that is not assigned to the particles, ignore them. Just use the one that is on the particles. Let's play it back. We are not able to see the result because the range of that value is between negative one and one. 
here we are reading that it's a random number on each one of the particles but its range is too low so I'm going to go back to the definition of my parameter and I'm going to change this range to something else negative 50 to 50 so now we are getting the same result that we had and keep in mind that this is a parameter so you can do any other kind of mathematical operations on them the ones that we learned in previous lessons so I'm going to reset it back to a negative one and one and I'm going to show you how we can deal with this even in other modules and I'm going to go back here I'm going to reset it back to its default value of one and I'm going to convert that to multiply first and I'm going to read my own custom parameter in any of these two inputs so I'm going to choose my own rotation factor and I can change that speed right here so technically I'm having a random number between negative one and one here and I'm going to multiply that by any value same result so in order to have a better understanding of what we've done this is our emitter the first module that we have created was to define and set some values for our particles at the moment of their creation in the particle spawn. So this module is creating a particle name called my rotation factor and it's assigning a value to it. In this case, it's a range, it's a random number. So we call this part setting parameter per particle. We are defining and setting parameters, but we are not doing anything with them. So in this case, for example, we are having four particles for each one of them that rotation factor that custom parameter is having a random number for each one of them so assigning 0.5 to the first particle assigning negative 0.2 to the second one negative 0.9 to the third one and 0.73 to the fourth particle that's it in the particle update in the sprite rotation rate in this case but it can be in any other module we are going to read those numbers by this parameter here this is the same name of my own parameter I'm getting that parameter value and I'm using that to control any other modules attribute in this case the rotation rate and I'm directly using that in our example in Unreal not only we read that here but also we multiplied that by another number all right so that's it for this lesson in the next lesson I'm going to expand this concept of custom parameters and we are going to see how we can create custom parameters or let's call them user parameters for our Niagara system these parameters are only for emitters we're gonna see how we can create custom parameters for our Niagara system so we get one step closer to interactivity and how we can control particles more interactively using inputs or using other events that we want